Hello, beautiful collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. I, I'm I'm really being drawn to my mixed emotions deck today. So, I thought I would um, check in, you know, behind the scenes, right? Um, see what's going on with your person, with whatever energy is coming towards you, right? Um, anyway, this reading is for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest, right? You guys know the drill. You're pros now, you know? Um, and thank you, everyone, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, the love. Um, I, I love how good you guys are in the comments. You're so nice to me, man. Um, thank you guys so much. You know what? Hands down. Um, I'm so proud of this soul tribe. We are like, I feel like we're just the best soul tribe out there. And you guys are nothing but kind to me here. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for being my family here. Okay. All right. So let's see what the mixed emotions deck is going to, you know, show us today. Right. Divine, what messages do you have for the collective today? All right, somebody wants to be free from a situation. Um, they're feeling hopeless, power, uh, powerless. Yeah, this is somebody who's like kind of got a lack mentality is what I'm feeling like. They want to be free from a situation. They want to take control. Ooh, um, but here comes this karmic individual, right? Um they're going to have to have the strength. This person's going to have to find the strength to go up against this karmic. So far, I feel like this karmic, you know, I know they're worried, right? They could even be worried about some somebody's kid could be sick, um, maybe have a fever or something. But I feel like this, whoever they're with i'm feeling that karmic energy they're they're very a very bitter resentful person and i feel like they're keeping your person caged up tied up not not literally okay um but yeah they're keeping them stuck here i feel like this karmic individual is like the ruler of the roost you know what i mean um the one with all the of the power but i feel it's more like um emotional power it's almost feeling like a bully attitude here from this resentful person i, I kind of get the feeling like they know that they know that they want to come towards you um and you're in this calm look at the difference between you and who they're with okay look at that that's the difference that negative energy and all of this bright happy positive serene calm energy right the bitterness and and uh, the resentfulness from this person over here and then here's you um, just like la 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 living your life being all kinds of beautiful and peaceful yeah I feel like this person watches you from afar um, because you know they're they're afraid to come towards you um, but I feel like it has a lot to do with this resentful person. And I feel like they don't talk to your person very well, I got to say. Um, and your person is like, you know, they're watching you from around this corner, you know, hiding. So if you're, po if you're posting anything online out there, anything that you're doing, this person is seeing it. Okay, just so you know. And they're seeing you... Um, be happy without them. You're you're not hurting. You're healed. Um, you could be a water sign. Whoever they're with could possibly be um, either an air sign or an earth sign. Maybe your person could be an earth sign or a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like they're watching this dream just float away. And, um, you know, they had you in the palm of their hands, really, at one point, and they just released you, right? Let you go, yeah, bottom of the deck. This person's getting angry. They broke your trust. They don't know how to reach out. Will you talk to them, you know? 
if they reach out to you, would you accept any kind of communication? They're they're upset because you know the the choice that they made got them stuck. They're being overpowered by this resentful, um, bitter karmic energy, right? Who's now worried about losing this relationship? And um, and you're over here being they they made the wrong choice. They broke the trust of the wrong person. They just broke your trust. They shouldn't have done it. And now they're angry with themselves. Yeah, because they're, they're, they found themselves. What did I say about the bully over here? They found themselves in a situation that they're very, they're bored to tears, number one. They've got no zest for life where they are. They're just sitting there wasting time, right? Wasting time. And it's like this resentful angry um karmic energy just kind of makes this person feel so small they feel humiliated unworthy disgraced ashamed standing in a corner while you know um while this karmic individual just bashes them i don't know not not literally right um uh, but they're, they're they just stand over them and talk down on them you know and this is what this person's life is like here. This is what your life is like. Open, free, beautiful, warm, you know, soothing, calm, serene. And their life is like this. Their life is like this. And they're angry, but they're angry about their own choices here, collective. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving forward. Because this person, they, they decided to stay with this karmic, okay, um, and not make a decision. They were so indecisive, and now I feel like they're just stuck. They're just, they're feeling, the, the, and the longer they stay there, the worse it gets. Because this karmic individual makes them feel smaller and smaller. They're taking away their confidence in themselves is what this karmic is doing. They're making your person feel powerless. Okay? And it's like they want to reach out to you, but um, they don't know how. They don't know how, and they don't know if you're going to accept them because of how they broke your trust. feel like this person had a chance, a very long window of time um, for them to choose a new path, and they didn't. And they're angry about that. It says angry, furious, enraged. Yeah, now it's like they, they want to, they it says moved, but I'm really feeling like they want to move towards you. Um, inspired. This person's starting to, I feel like you inspire them. You really do. You kind of give this person that positivity, even, even though you're not around them, okay? It's the energy that you give off. It's that positive. It, it, your leaps and bounds, the fact that you can take a leap of faith with confidence, that inspires this person to do something, okay? Okay? They could be writing you a letter. They're getting messages through songs about wanting to be free. There's that same bird right there. Wanting to be free. Um, so, yeah, it's your energy. that, it, it, And your energy is the only energy out here that's actually inspiring this person to take a leap of faith, okay, and get themselves out of a situation. How does this person feel? Like you're literally like the only bright spot and their dream of being free. That's the only brightness in this whole thing. If you look at it and your energy up here. A lot, a lot of grays. I mean, this person's just like, their life is like, blah. You know, that's it, blah. And when they're home... They just get, you know, put down, really, is what they're, all they're doing is wasting their time, the time in their life, in a situation that they're completely uninterested in and bored with. 
while this karmic makes them feel small and takes their confidence away. All right, what else can you show me here for the collective? Ooh, that's too much. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like they could have a lot of responsibilities there too. There's that longing for you. Yeah, this person's longing for you. I feel like um, what they did to you was horrible, horrible. Okay, I feel like this person. Um, stabbed you in the back. I feel like they betrayed you, possibly lied to you. I feel like um, you could have been maybe considered the other person in this third party situation, okay? Um, and I feel like the whole community, possibly, possibly a whole group of people, just kind of watched you suffer. It was almost like public humiliation. And I feel like some of these people you may have even known. Okay, people in your community, family, friend group, whatever, right? But not one single person came to your aid, okay? You had to endure all of this all, on, all by yourself. Not one of these people helped you out. Um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, there it is. This person feels guilty, heartbroken over this. I feel like they did a lot to you, and you had to carry all of this burden all by yourself. And now look at you, though. You've healed. This is what's inspiring to this person. They're like, wow, after all that was done, right? They know all that they did to you. They know, they, they know what they did. They're ashamed here. After all that was done to you, all of the pain, the damage that was done, the people laughing, talking about you behind your back. I feel like you were publicly humiliated, hurt, betrayed, had your heart broken. You had to you had to shoulder all of that on your own. No one came to help you. Okay? And this person looks at you and how you've healed and how beautiful your energy still is. Okay? And they're like, "Wow." Wow. That's why you inspire this person. Yeah, they're feeling stuck like a cat in a cage, I'm telling you. They're feeling stuck and they're crying. They're doing a lot of crying because now they're in love with you. Now they're in love with you, collective. After all that's been done, you really... Um, like they know what they put you through they they've been I feel like they've been watching you um and now you're just oh my gosh you've still got this beautiful strong energy yeah you're they're in love with you but they're heartbroken at the same time because they know that they caused this they know they did this to you that's how they broke your trust, is what they did to you here. Okay? Yeah, so they're, they're in between being put down and hating wherever they are with this karmic, right? Being inspired by you, but then that reminds them that they put you through this themselves in the first place. So then they turn heartbroken. This person... Oh my gosh, there are a lot of different emotions here off of this person. Um, let's see what they want to say. I don't want that one. I want this. Let's see what this person wants to say. Yeah. They're longing for you, I feel. They can be, it doesn't matter what they're doing during the day, they'll just stop and think about you. And think about what they did to you. And think about how far you've come and how in love they are with you. And, but they always have to go back home, you know, to this um, resentful person, you know. All right, it's, it's sad, really. But they, they did a number on you, Collective. That's horrible what they did to you. 
I should have believed in you. You always had my best interests at heart. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? I told you it's that broken trust thing. When times got tough, I gave up on you too soon. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. This person, you, this could be um, a potentially long distance connection. You were the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I know that, I know now that's true. I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You know the truth about me. And then let's get one more. Letting you down was the worst decision I made. Yes, it was, Collective, because now they want you back. Okay. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, if you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow if you like this vibe and it's resonating with you. Um, join the family here. I love you guys. Uh, yes, you're my soul tribe, but really to me, you're my peeps and my family. Thank you so much. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.